rest assured, madam, your dear departed is lying at rest in our chapel of repose, and everything will be in order for the service tomorrow. Once again, my deepest condolences. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's party time! worry about a thing. Your late husband is in safe hands. Thank you. Alright now please, 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 a little quiet please before uh, the party really gets underway. I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and to say a quick word about drinking and driving. Long may it continue. <laughs> you want a kiss under the mistletoe? Oh, yes. Go on then. This is Sister Teresa, who is such a useful contact down at the hospital. Ah, uh, you're too kind. Oh, uh, by the way, Mrs. Biggins is paid and fast. Uh, I'll put her your way. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh, <laughs> bless you for your generosity. Oh, you're five pounds short, by the way. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Thank you. And may I say that at this time of year, we should remember that we are celebrating the birth of our Lord. So will you all join me in a joyful little song that man has used to celebrate Christmas for centuries past? <laughs> so here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. Mr. Bolding, you see, I've got great ideas for this place, um, like sort of um, marketing strategy, uh, like with slogans like, uh, Boldings make the going easier. <laughs> or, I'll or, think about it. Or, or, or people are dying to be buried by Boldings. Mm -hmm. That's not very catchy, is it? Oh, no. I don't know. We bury more stiffs than Joan Collins. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, hey, I bet you weren't expecting that for a Christmas box. <laughs> yeah. The poor devil was found dead in a brothel. Oh, well, I hope, he, I hope he confessed his sins before the Lord took him. I don't suppose he had time, sis. Too busy enjoying himself. <laughs> now, if the Lord had intended us to enjoy sex, sure, he wouldn't have created premature ejaculation. <laughs> the great thing is, George, as it's Christmas, I know you won't mind me talking to you frankly, man to man. <laughs> Well, I've just got one little observation to make about the organisation here, which is, let's be honest, P.I.P. crap. <laughs> but you don't mind me telling you this, do you? No, of course not. I've got it! I've got it! A TV ad with Ted Malt in the coffin saying how draft-free our coffins are. <laughs> Who's got a gotten a gear? Who's got a gotten a gear? <laughs> I have told you before, don't handle the merchandise. <laughs> I stick up for you, George. I stick up for you. I mean, you work with corpses, you're bound to end up smelling like one. <laughs> Hello, sister. Sure. Hello, sister. Now, death's not so frightening close, too, is it? But then, what is death but life without the, uh, well, the breathing in and out bit? <laughs> He's talking rubbish. <laughs> now you shut up or I'll put you back in a box. I don't want to go back in a box. I don't want to go back in a box. Oh my God! Uh-oh, go away. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bolding, can I embalm this one, please? Shut up, wicker. Ah, oh, come along, darling. Mm. In the holy name of St. Christopher, St. Mm. Cecilia, and the beloved St. Geldof. She's coming round. I've been practising it home. Look. I did my hamster. <laughs> it was a bit difficult because it kept wriggling around a bit in a jar, you know? Now, don't take on so. Sure, what is death but the Watford gap on the M1 of existence? <laughs> no one could say you don't put it in the hours, though, George. Mind you, I'd put it in the hours if I had a wife like yours. <laughs> though I have had a wife like yours, actually. <laughs> 
Oh, that yours, actually. <laughs> you had my wife and your daughter. I meant to tell you earlier, George, but you know how it is when you're shagging the boss's family, you know? <laughs> you tend to keep it to yourself, don't you? But I thought, you know, as it's Christmas and we're mates and all that. Has anyone yeah. seen a glass around the place? No. Oh, you don't mind me telling you all this, do you? I mean, it is Christmas after all. You giving cards this year? Hmm. Here's yours. You're fired. <laughs> and what did I say? And he was in a glass. I, I left it round here somewhere. Yeah, he drank it. Oh, was it lager? No, it was, uh, it was my embalming fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Now, don't you worry about a thing. Sure, you're only dying. Cross your fingers, lads. Here comes our Christmas bonus. <laughs>